Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with No Man's Sky and our playthrough on the survival difficulty. And bloody hell, my ship is actually on the ground and not at all in the same position as when I exited the game. We were over here and in the air. And as a matter of fact, when I lo loaded in, that is where I were. I were I was in the air and I dropped down and took damage. <laughs> so, good start. Uh, yeah, okay, so so the, the, when I now fixed the ship, it has started to move about on its own. Beautiful. Hope that that doesn't come, come and bite me in the ass. But yeah, you know what, as uh, I'm still on a bad planet, let's just go inside um, and have a bit of a talk about what we did. Because last time I managed to actually repair the ship in full. We can now make off, and as it says at the bottom right, hold W to take off. And we will do that. We won't do that just now, however, because of the fact that um, I don't have a lot of stuff. Right. This is what I have in my starship. I have some uh, goodness, carbon, a whole bunch of rusted metal actually, and a bit of carbon. I have some, uh, just not a whole lot of stuff. And um, we are going to go to a space station. That is inevitable. We are going to go to a space station. When we get to a space station, I would like to be able to purchase some things. Now, in order to be able to purchase some things, I need credits. I have zero credits. Or units, as it's called in this game. I have no units whatsoever. I need units. And for that we need to sell stuff. So what can I sell? Well, we've uh, found some jade peas. 800 units each. Not terribly bad. Easy to pick up. But uh, I haven't found that many of them. So it doesn't feel like such a stable uh, idea to get those. But we, I've actually checked that uh, the stuff that I get from killing animals... They're worth quite a lot, don't you know? So, what I could do is actually go on a little bit of a killing spree before we leave the planet. I wouldn't mind just picking up carbon, uh, if I can, more oxygen perhaps, a bit of more ferrite dust. Uh, because one of the things is that our launch thrusters right now have 50%. Uh, I don't remember, well, I do remember, but I don't know how it is now. I remember that when I played last time, it was 25% to take off, which means that I currently would have two takeoffs, if you would. Now, we could do Starship Launch Fuel, right? Yes, Dihydrian and Metal Plating, I actually could make that right now, I think. Yeah, I could make a, yeah, let's just do it, actually. Metal Plating, like that. And we can now go in here and we can do a starship launch fuel. Now does this uh, does this fill it up completely? I, I'm not going to use it right now because it m might be 100% of a fill. So let's just chill out a little bit. But yeah, so we can quite readily create starship launch fuel. They do seem to stack in, what could that be, 20 or 20 odd? That little bar, 20-ish perhaps, does it say? Um, can't see that it does, no. But yeah, I would basically just like to pick up some more stuff. Ferret dust, uh, dihydrian if I can find it, maybe some more carbon, and then probably just kill a whole bunch of animals. So yeah, before we leave the planet, that is one thing that I want to do. Another thing that I want to do, we have the scanner, and uh, the scanner is activated on... What, what on earth? That, that's that scanner. No, uh, the visor thing of my jig. I operate that on F. There we go. So there we go. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff to scan. We have jade piece over here. I can actually spot jade piece. A humming sack. That could be interesting to check out what it is. Uh, but yeah, what we uh, basically can do at this point is uh, target something. And we can just click and hold and we're scanning away. And we get 3,000 units. That is why we're doing that. I have located my starship. Yes, thank you. It's uh, right here. That is one of the quests that we have, by the way. So I did that. Am I done with the mission? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, as you saw, 3,000 credits just for scanning some things. 
we're going to have to do a little bit more of that. But now we know that we have El Vonzi Burrios. An early is exotic, is gentle, a fungal cluster diet. Produces eggs, wouldn't you know? So that is something we do. What is that, by the way? That is a bird technology module. Cool. Uh, so what else do we have? We have some animals over in there. Can I get the very, very angry, the very angry carnivore? Can I find that one? Could be around here, possibly. Uh, life support systems are low. I have a... Didn't I do one? Yes, life support. Yeah, I can top that up quite easily. Right, here we go. Who are you, exactly? Why are you so horrible? You are... Oops. No, no, no. What were you? You are a Volpacetho. An indeterminate age. Right. I mean, you're an infant, yes, but apparently they can grow to be uh, anything <laughs> of age. And it produces crab apples. Mm, crab apple. Um, we can just basically start scanning a whole bunch of stuff to scan this tree. I don't think we get an, as much stuff from plants. No 500 from that plant. So, for example, that is something we can do. And uh, obviously we still... I would assume, ooh, let's get back to the chip. Let's not uh, die unnecessarily. That would be stupid. So, for example, uh, that is not in... Where, where is... I can't rename my ship, by the way. So, by the way, yeah, we can rename things in this game quite heavily as well. So if you want to... If you want to put your name on anything, just uh, let me know. Um, in here, let's see here, catalog, uh, no discoveries, sorry. So we are on right now, Nuklingo 4. Uh, we have one flora discovered out of, do we not, oh, do we not know how many flora is on the planet anymore? Fauna we do know, two out of six, then there are minerals as well. Okay, so flora actually doesn't have a sort of max number. Cool. So we have indeed fungal molds. Have I picked up any of those, I think? Magnetized ferrite is interesting. Ammonia and copper. No uranium. It would be nice to get some uranium, I guess. And we can get some regular basic data. Shipping is satisfactory. Conflict is critical. Ooh. And the Vikings, as we already know, are the dominant species here. So, what I thought that we would do is actually take off. And I'm gonna go somewhere else. And, okay, it's not 25%. It's actually quite a little bit. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. That is... Oh, I don't like that. Uh, let me have a bit of a look at the controls here for... Remap for flight controls. Uh, no, actually not for flight controls. Uh, not in here. Tethered inverted. Oh, uh, tethered normal. Yes. <laughs> Holy crap. There we go. That's better. Right. So what do we have? Can oh, oh. that's some uh, piece right there. Can I sort of get anywhere with scanning? I don't think so. So, uh, basically what I'm thinking is just go around a little bit, have a bit of a poke around the planet before we touch down. So basically, I don't know how well the game, because we have some issues with like loading things in. But I do wish to, there's some oxygen plants, but um, alright. I mean, it's literally just more of the same, isn't it? <laughs> Now we can scan a little bit faster in this game, or rather in this mode. There are some uh, meteorites touching down. Is that something that's interesting? Because it definitely touched down here somewhere, right, didn't it? Hmm. Don't know. So what I was sort of thinking about is, can I spot, like, any structures? And, uh, can I drop down somewhere where I could, uh, you know, harvest a little bit more than anywhere else. I do like these things. Oh, is that actually... Oh, no, no, no. Go, go back. Sort of felt like I had a, another... Oh, that is gonna... I'm gonna bump... Yeah, okay. That is a 
uh, one of those things where we can learn more words, but that is in a place where I really won't be able to get down. Or if I do get down, I won't be able to get back, back up. But here we go. This is sort of what I wanted to see. So you know what? Yes, let's uh, let's like whoa, 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 shut up. Uh, let's actually pull down. Oh no, okay, no, apparently not. Uh, let's. Oh, whoa, okay. I'm gonna have to learn how to control this bloody thing. No, let's go super slowly. Yes, here we go. Landing sequence initiated. Oh, it has a long landing pad. Never mind then. Um, really hope that this isn't where I were. No, we have to be further away than where I were. Uh, yeah, live support, sure. Uh, let's do that. Yes, damage machinery. No, I have not been here. Would have been weird if I had been. Uh, so let's have a bit of a poke at this one. I get some nanites. Cool. And in here, can I find anything? Not, not as it would seem in here, no. Right, let's check the other one. I really thought it looked bigger, but uh, no, it's basically the same size as the other one. So, more nanites in here. Nanites are used for blueprints, etc., I believe. Uh, let's do first aid, because I actually think that... No, I apparently was full up. Alright, well, let's have this little place as a... Oh, we actually find ourselves a uh, little sentinel. Which I can't scan, but they're going to be annoying. Um, so, let's have a bit of a sh look around now. I have my ship here parked very nicely. Uh, so I'm going to have to scan and uh, scan a few couple of things. What did we... Did I have a red? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, you, you, those things. They are probably also uh, Seek's company. Oh, you're one of those that we can actually make friends. No, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm just gonna kill you. Mini chunks. That's some money for me. Are you gonna? The Sentinel. Are you gonna bother me? It doesn't look like it. But we can just keep uh, scamming things for more units. Uh, we haven't done this one. Over here we have, yeah, dihydrian. I would like some more dihydrian. Feels like the sentinels aren't bothering me with this. I think they are gonna bother me if I start cutting down minerals, like actual minerals, like ferrite and stuff. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. Uh, but more dihydrian would be nice. Uh, that is something I can scan as well. I mean, the fauna is uh, slightly less interesting to scan, obviously, because, again, not enough money and also there's no maximum, so we don't exactly know how many we can scan. Um, right. What else do we have? We have some hydrogen over there. We have some sodium over there. Do I spot any? That is a simple yes indeed no. Right now on my visor I cannot find any... Uh, oh, I hadn't scanned that one. Uh, I can't find any animals that I actually haven't scanned, so... Probably not gonna bother on this planet. Ooh, ammonia from these. Ah, there you go. Probably ammonia from here as well, or do I not get... Ooh, no, no, I did get ammonia. Cool. So, uh, how get to my ship. Exactly how um, how valuable, valuable is ammonia? Not at all interesting. Alright. Um, local mineral extracted, we found a large deposit of extracted from common minerals. Building, crafting, charging, upgrading. So a bunch of stuff we can presumably do with it. Uh, but yeah, we got some more uh, got some more meaty chunks. Cool. But yeah, I'd probably go a bit on a, on a killing rampage. So, for example, you. You are not looking too hot here. There we go. I will do... Oop, can also scan this cactus-looking thing. I can also... Oop, here we go. There we go. Radon as well. So if we uh, scan things, is that how we know that... Ah, yes. From... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Didn't I? Hey, didn't I analyze this? I did. I did analyze this. How do I? Are you in the way, Mr. Animal? Yeah, here we go. The animal was in the way. Cool. 
So let's do that, and now we know that we can get ammonia from the Ah, so that's how that works. Well, that's just perfect. And of course, with some advanced, uh, advanced uh, mining laser, we can do more stuff. There we go. Get those meaty chunks. Uh, yeah, here we go. That, that's what I was looking for. This thing. More damage stuff. More goop for me. Uh, for this we get more nanites. Cool. Uh, anything else fun? We have one of those ugly bastards. Uh, we have a non-ugly bastard here, but we can still kill it. Oh, I feel a little bit bad about just killing the local fauna. But bloody hell, I need the money. That is all I need. Now, Mordite, by the way, was Mordite actually useful for anything? 40 units each, not terribly good, no. Uh, so we have some more Dihydrian and Ferrite. I wouldn't mind even more Ferrite. We can now have a bit of a look. The thrusters, if we uh, put that in, that is a full reload. That's good to know. Uh, so we could simply do another plating and another uh, Starship launch fuel. Cool. So we got that, but still for the Pulse engine, uh, hmm, Tritium or Pyrite, I haven't found any of that. and doesn't feel like that exists on this planet. So we're a little bit strapped for that. Okay, well. Uh, so what was that? Fungal cluster. A bit cool. Oh, we actually have more dihydrogen. Let's just get the basics, because dihydrium is what's going to actually make us be able to keep launching, so to speak, ourselves off of this bloody rock. And uh, pretty soon we are going to start trying to find um, our planet, so to speak, because we are going to have want to do an, our very own planet. And I would love love to find a planet that actually doesn't have, ooh, have, I haven't done this one uh, I would love to find a planet that has uh, got a friendly atmosphere where I don't have to bother with uh, hiding uh, just, just in order to stay alive that would be very nice to find one I did find one on my uh, my save file where I oops, so right cool. also for me um, I have I did find one on my uh, save file where I tried out the base building and uh, yeah it's just very nice to have that so probably do that hello guys i'll be joining you very very soon oh crap <laughs> forgot about that uh let's just do regular carbon there we go and continue also oh no 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 this no god damn it this plant let's have a bit of a poke at that one Fungal mold, here we go. Isn't fungal mold uh, something that apparently might be a little bit more more uh, nice in terms of money? We'll, we'll see. I'll do these and then I'll head back to the ship. Sulfurine, we can have a bit of a look at as well. Fungal mold. Horsonobo. <laughs> I do like the also most likely procedurally generated names. <laughs> they are quite good sometimes. Uh, but still, as I said, we can... Ooh, I probably should just get back, actually. Misty Divide. Yeah, now I'm taking damage. Let's just head back to... Well, actually, we don't have need to head back to the ship. We can just go inside this little thing here before I lose health unnecessarily. There we go. We can now have a bit of a look at the stuff that we have. So what have I picked up? Ammonia, 62. Yeah, I already checked that. Sulfurine, 20. Even worse. Fungal mold, 16. Even worse. <laughs> Bloody hell, we don't need any of that. Uh, no, no, no. It's actually more dihydrogen and ferrite. That's uh, sort of important-ish. Well, we have uh, some meaty chunks. Uh... I kind of want to go for more of those, I suppose. We are going to get... Uh, oh, starship. Uh, we are going to get some more for this as well. And I already have some more junk here. We can sell for some regular units. I might actually be tempted to just leave. <laughs> because this planet is horrible. And I think that um, as soon as we leave, we are going to get information on how to... Oh, 
Save and shard. Alright, that is what you do here. I totally forgot about that. God damn it. Uh, yes, you're supposed to do those things. Uh, oh, there we go. Ooh. Navigation data, yes indeed. Ooh. Oh, here we go. That's one of the animals. A fly, a flying thing. You know, them, them what's called birds. Uh, yeah, we have flying things as well here. Those... Those look rather regular, actually. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sentinel. I am not going to be any trouble, I promise. Um, so we are actually, for discoveries in this planet, we have done four out of six, but yeah, I don't really see it. See no more red dots. We don't have any more flying. I haven't seen any water. Can I do these? No, I can't. Um, yeah. Uh, copper and copper can't do that. Or ammonia, sorry. Ammonia. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Well, there are some more animals that I guess I could just kill. Uh, so, for example, the guy over here. Let's say hello to you. And let's also say goodbye to you because I am going to kill you. Well, there we go. Even though they're quite large, they die quite easily. Um, would you give me anything special, by the way, if I kill you? I don't know. Uh, let's do a bit of a scan. There's some O2 here. I wouldn't mind just picking up some O2. Uh, let's also have a bit of a look around here. That is indeed quite a light of the dihydrogen. Oh, oh! Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Leave. Leave. No, I'm very, very sorry that I did anything wrong. I'm leaving. Chill. Am I in danger? I think you get, like, stars. Sort of like GTA if you kill things. Well, not, not, not if you kill things, if you are have attracted the wrong kind of... Uh, Acknowledgement from the Sentinels. Oh, come on, die already. There we go. Oh, well, that's annoying. That's actually a good, uh, good reason as any to just leave. <laughs> so let's just leave, and we shall head out into the stars. That's basically just uh, s position yourself so you can get out of. The Ooh, here we go. Riffin' that system, Euclidicality. You discovered this. I probably didn't because the Viking are already here. But let's say that I did. And it'll make me feel a little bit better. So what do we have? Test Starship Systems. Yeah. Test Flight Control and Thrust. Yeah. That seems to be working rather well. What else do I need to test? Uh... Let's shoot things. Oh, 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 crap, crap, crap. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I need to learn how to control this thing. Do I have a... Yeah, I do. Cool. So from that... Ah, tritium! Well, what do you know? We can actually just shoot tritium out of the bloody sky, can we? Also gold! Ah, let's do a bit of mining then. That is silver. So we can just uh, find random materials over here. Very nice. Let's just hold on a little bit. Uh, I have a photon cannon which we are also going to have to uh, load at some point. So we have these smaller rocks that are just basically destroyed as soon as we shoot at it. And then we have these larger chunks where we can sort of... Uh, oh, okay. God damn it. Right. Uh, scan away. Can I... Right, let's look at the little minimap thing on a jig down there. That's another planet. That is that big one. Uh, right, we need to go in this direction. And I don't like this because you can totally bump into this. Oh, no, no, we actually don't. Cool. Right, uh, space for pulse engine, which is something we're going to have to use. Oh, let's stop. There we go. All of the systems are go. Can I locate? There we go. Hello. Get a message. Uh, yes. Hold. I did do that. I did do the thing. Oh. Uh, oh, come on. No. No. Bloody hell. No. Get the hell out of here. No, I can't do that. And I can't do that either. Why can't I do that? Yes. 
Select. No. Select. There we go. Thank you. Incoming transmission. I'm probably gonna die soon. Because someone's gonna attack me. Please identify yourself. I'm someone. I'll, I will identify myself if I can. I don't know who I am, but I'm identifying myself. You're not alone, apparently. Follow the something something. The broadcast sends the strange as began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Cool. Let's get that. Uh, that is. The, oh no no no. Get that. Let's. Uh, can I make my way to the? Because I. Oh, I can do the pulse engine. Cool. We need to make it past this. There we go. Where is the... Here we go. There we go. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> the bloody, bloody starport. I'm no shape right now to actually attack anything. So there we go. We are going to this here little starport and see who we can find and what we can and cannot sell. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, do I want to be in this system and... Uh, plonk myself down if I find... Oh, come on. Controls are a bit weird. Maybe I'll try one of the other controls. No, I can't do that. Uh, maybe I'll try some of the other controls, because this is a bit strange. Uh, let's go to the station first. This is a very, very bright station. Very sa salmon-y looking. And luckily we are getting... Oh, that's a bit close to the side there, but sure. So here we go, first station. Very cool. A bit of a turnaround, and we're done. Welcome aboard. Well, thank you so, so much. Right, let's see what we have inside here. The music is very aggressive, I think. Oh, whoa, whoa. And, yeah, the space stations are a lot different than what they were in the beginning of the game, let's just say. A lot different. Right, uh, what do we have? What are these things? Appearance modifier, yes. Starship outfitting, can I even do anything here? Uh, drones deployed to target Starship, yes. Available oper operations, upgrade class and or storage, or melt ship into scrap. <laughs> can I upgrade? What would an upgrade cost? Augment inventory storage or improve Starship class, improve storage for free with storage habitation units. For free? Well, I probably don't have any. No, that's a million uh, or 10,000 nanites. I don't have that much. All right. Well, let's have a bit of a chat with a Viking. You are a Viking. Hello. Exosuit research. Yeah, we can now do a whole bunch of quests. So technology merchant Leberunk offers installable exosuit upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. And he's going to talk to me and I have absolutely no idea what he's saying. I would like to, uh, let's have a bit of a look. So I have 199 nanites. I can't actually buy some stuff. Uh, the next, is that the next rank? How does ranks work? Presumably A is better than B. Is it? Uh, no, A is the worst. Yes. A is the worst. Then you have B, C, and then you get to... Delta, Sigma, possibly. I think that's Delta. Um, yes, okay. Um, let's actually get out of here. What do I have? Uh, my exosuit has... It just has life support. It doesn't have anything. <laughs> um, can I sell... Can I sell things to you? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Poi, poi. Uh, if I do this and I sell, I cannot sell anything to you. I would like to find sort of general market. So we have all the different aliens looking cool. Where is the general market area? Ooh. That's kind of cool looking ish. Um, do we have a general market area? What is through this door? I don't know, but we'll have a bit of a look. Here we go. This is the general market. There we go. Galactic Trade Terminal. I would like to sell a whole bunch of stuff. Um, right now, mainly, I would like to sell... Uh, this is from my exosuit. Let's go for the starship, because we can do the rusted metal. 
Sell all of that. I have units! More units than I had before, because I had units before. Um, we don't need any of the other things. We can sell this, we can sell the living slime, the residual goop. We shall sell... Uh, there we go, scooped innards, and meaty chunks, 49,000. Uh, what do you know? I'm up to 89, we can sell the jade piece. We can sell the Mordite, most likely. I'll do that right now, because it's easy to get. The microprocessor, I am actually going to try and save. I'll sell these just for the fact that I want the space. For for the important things, which is basically what I now have left. Uh, the ammonia as well we can sell. Navigational data? No. Do we have navigational data? Oh, and I have a right. Oxygen recycler C is what I have here. The navigational data, you said. Where do I have the navigational data? That's... Am I missing it? Jetpack has a prediction. I support fuel liquid fuel igniter. I don't see myself having any of that. Uh, let's also move you here. Corbin can go here. Huh. Curious. But uh, we can actually sell more stuff. I just realized that I picked up a whole bunch of gold and stuff like that. So go here. Because I have gold, 12,000 more, some silver, also very nice. Now, tritium. Can I buy tritium? I don't like that the, uh, that the uh, tooltip is hovering over like that. It makes it really difficult to see what's going on here. Uh, tritium, yes. Uh, I can buy a whole bunch. Uh, what if I go to... How much did I have? I had... Uh, 20, so I would like to buy. Can I? Oh. Well, now it's not 480, now it's 479. <laughs> I would like to have a full stack, basically, is what I'm going for here. So, oh, that's a bit too much. 479 should leave me now. If I'm not incorrect, at uh, 500. Cool. So, what else? Decrypted user data. Create pact with a hard drive each of which contains vast amounts of decrypted user data. This processing occurs system with advanced material economies. I don't think I'm up to any of that just yet. So let's not bother with any of this. I don't think that we need to buy wiring loom, I saw. Uh, Prefabricated circuit board design for flexible use in a large range of technology components. I think I needed that for something. Uh, if I go to technology, uh, I don't have anything here. Uh huh. I thought I had something where I could. No, not install them. What did I need? What did I need you for? I don't know. Apparently nothing too much right now. So, let's have a bit of a chat with people. We have a Gek over here. Sales Gek Lusateri. What are your things? Is it really you? Forgive me, I've been searching for such a long time. I'm contrary to a you in this in every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. What do you mean every cycle? Have I been uh, alive before? Possibly I have, yes. As the stranger speaks, a smell assaults me. A pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took. Of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this geck, cradling their fallen brethren, of a bargain made many years from now, a contract sign across the cosmos. The vision ends and the overseer remains. The overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. Well, I can't do any of that right now because I don't have a base. I don't feel comfortable in hiring you, bloody hell. No, I need to actually find a place. Ooh, I can actually... Oh. No. What? Search. A bit of carbon for me. Well, that's fancy. Um, alright. Well, <laughs> hello, Mr. Vaikin at arms. 
I demand a place on your throne world interloper. Acceptance will grant you the glory of an exocraft and a viking mech priest to administer its mass. Aha. Uh -huh. Pray only that you have an exocraft terminal sufficient for my skills. Refusal refusal will result in my inevitable extermination. <laughs> oh, okay. So if I don't take you, you die. Well, that's weird. Well, I can't do that either. I don't have a base just yet. They are unstable. I should show caution before inviting them to live in my home. That's that's a good idea, yes. More uh, Viking at arms. It feels like all of this has to do with uh, my base. And the downbeat life form is studying the image of another young warrior on their pad. Picture warrior looks virile and impressive. They have facial tenderness that are outstretched. They appear rich and a good breeding stock. The look in their eyes is sultry. Ooh, you're looking at porn, aren't you? No, I don't want to partake in your porn collection. Um, it looks made with questioning eyes. They clearly need someone to talk through it. Well, I don't know anything about what you just said. Um, so, so let's just leave. I'm not gonna just accept things <laughs> from really no reason whatsoever. By the way, extract nanites. I can just do that. What's well, so that? Just fun. Just free nanites. And uh, apparently, a journey milestone. I've traveled. Uh, no, I have earned is what I've done. Space trucker. Here we go. So, what are all of these shops? And also, trader. I've traded units. Cool. Getting, getting somewhere. Can we just uh, have this removed? There we go, thank you. Technology merchant. Let's have a bit of a look at what you have. So, upgrade modules. So this is for... Uh, for my bolt caster, making that better. But, here we go. A moderate upgrade. What does this mean? It, the module is flexible to extract. Uh, upgrade settings are known. Potential upgrades include power output, heat tolerance, and fuel efficiency, but I would like the next mining beam. Is what I would like. Mining beam module. I mean, is this is this the next level? Because I would love to just have this one. I'm gonna take it. For really no other reason than, you know, I do want a better mining beam. So what do I do here? Uh how do I do this? Okay. But I would like the thing... Oh, th did it just sort of automatically become better? What, what, what's making the noise when I click in this? I don't know. Um, okay. How do I... Here we go. Oh, never mind. Uh, install, yes. So what does that actually do? Okay. That is just an extra technology thing. Uh, upgrades the money beam, improving heat dispersion. Not bad, but... Uh, uh, that was actually not terribly good. <laughs> no, I would like to be able to upgrade my mining beam. Is that... Does that mean that I need to upgrade my weapon it presumably does i'm gonna be able to do that at some point uh more technology merchants starship upgrades is what you have uh-huh so these are something that i will most likely just ignore flat out i don't want just regular upgrades might be good might be good at some point but uh, for now it doesn't feel like really the big thing uh-huh Friendly nod and all of that. Uh, installable exocraft upgrade. So these might be interesting. A humble drive module. Cool. Uh, the fact that they're unknown makes them not terribly good, do they? <laughs> and why are the bees better? I don't understand the uh, the thing here. <laughs> No, actually, okay, so C is the worst, and then it's B, and then it's uh, Delta, and then Sigma, I guess. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, anyway, we'll have that uh, on for a while. What is this, by the way? Ooh, right. Exosuit upgrade. Yes, we have that as well. That is a thing. I can get another slot in my Exosuit for just 5,000 units. I have 117. That feels like a decent upgrade, yes. So now, my exosuit has indeed another space, and as you can see, yeah, 
there's a lot of those we can get. So each station that we go to, we can do an upgrade, because I don't think we can do any more. And I think, if it's the same as before, we can also find stuff like that around, uh, uh, around everywhere. So this is the market area of the station. We get another milestone. What is that? Setting out, traveling, yes. Our first, first little traveling star. Out of 10, by the way, so we're going to be uh, getting more of those. So here is the more social area, and uh, again, one big thing, the difference between when I started playing this game and now, they move! <laughs> Before, uh, well, they, okay, they move, but they're not very clever about it, <laughs> apparently. Cartographer, that's moderately interesting, you are an envoy, you are quest stuff or mission stuff, aren't you? What do you do? I've seen this alien scene signal before. They are a member of the Explorers Guild. They don't seem interested in the data I have to offer. Perhaps the mission listing agents of the station might have ways to improve my worth. Okay, so we don't talk to you right now. We talk to uh, a thing. Would that be this one? Well, that's just a connected trade terminal. Uh, if we go in here, because we would like to start doing some missions. We can extract some nanites over here, though. That's very good. Uh, it's this doesn't seem to have anything, but we can get some carbon, I suppose. Is this, no, that's just a chair. Well, okay, so that, this room was completely pointless. It's just very dark, and it only has some nanites for me. So, where do I find those listings? You are a mission agent. So you would be, no, okay, you, you, what? You were not also not giving me stuff. All right, is, is this the thing? A teleporter? No, I don't have a base to teleport to, so that would be kind of stupid. But we can just talk to people. Hello, Mr. Gekor here. You are also telling me all bunch of stuff that I don't have anything to say about. Uh, here we go. So this is what I'm going to be doing quite a lot, I think. Request dialect help. And he's just happy to uh, most likely... Indeed. So, we can do various symbols. Let's just do friendship, I think, could be a good thing. So, I have learned a, a word. Help. Yes. Um, would you... Can you keep doing that? No, already learned. Practice language skills. So, I would assume that now I need to pay for it. Uh, helps. See, I can, I can ask for help. Uh, he hesitates, hearing some brazen requests in his word, eventually shrug and has me a small gift. Which is unstable plasma. Ooh, I just asked for help. Cool. Uh, Mr. Viking, there's a lot of Vikings here that I can presumably ask. Viking! I know that word. Cool. Um, can I ask you for help? Request dialect help. Yes, indeed. Uh, aggressive enthusiasm, you say? No, actually, just go Viking symbols. Uh, we got another word, interloper, that is me, I am interloper, so good to know when they're addressing me, I suppose. So he's gonna say, hello interloper, I am a, I am a viking. Okay, uh, weapon presses sidearm, that would intimidate, perhaps. A bows, no, 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 request dialect help, we're gonna request dialect help for, like, everything, and we're gonna keep doing viking, I think. I learned a viking word for gra. What the hell is Gra? <laughs> that that doesn't help me. And uh, what, what? What? I thought it would be like English, <laughs> but apparently not. I do like that they are very friendly. Okay, so no Viking on this occasion. Let's keep going friendly. Friendship first. See so yeah, if we can help. Ask for help, which I think is going to presumably be a bit, be a bit uh, useful. We have a scout over here. You. Uh, Something, something help. Cool, you see. The worst hackers rise and is utterly shaken at his base of my request. Ooh, they really want to help me out. And the aggressive enthusiasm again. Uh, let's go Viking if I can. Uh, other than that is... Uh, oh, here we go. So what do we get? Warrior! That is actually probably useful for the Vikings. They are a little bit warrior-y. Uh, I have already talked to you. So basically, yes. Uh, going around different systems, go around different... Uh, basis is talking to people is a great way to get more words. 
An old Viking is not their skin or appearance as you just did. These beings are too alien, too unusual for me to make a judgment on that basis. No, it is the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They do not posture when they smile at me. And tell me it's an honor for us to meet, I believe them. And guard Hun Thieves promised me to come to my world and make use of my weapons terminal. Well, that's fun. Uh, won't be doing any of that right now, but uh, good to know for the future. Uh, a scout, you would presumably be someone I can have some help with. So, Gra, is that going to be like uh, just a general exasperation word or something? Possibly. Uh, dialect help, yes indeed. Uh, Vikeen. Keep going, Vikeen. Herc. I mean, I think I sort of brought this on my own, because obviously now I'm learning, like, basic, um, Vikeen words that don't really have a, a pro an appropriate <laughs> translation, I suppose. Um, aggression symbol. No, no, no. Let's go for friendship. Power! Also, presumably, a little bit useful. I haven't talked to you, warrior. You... I was about to say, did, did you say warrior dreg? No, no, you are not a dreg. Okay. Warriors will say, might want something dead. Well, I'm gonna ask you to help me with some words. Because this is gonna be very, very useful. Okay, so now we don't have any of Ikeen or friendship. I guess technology could be a good one, right? Yes, technology. No, no, actually, no, aggression could be good, because, again, Vikings are all about the aggression thing. So let's actually learn what you... Yeah, death could be a good one. <laughs> that is actually a really good one. Uh, I don't want to have anyone talking to me about death and me not understanding what the hell they're saying. Uh, we have an end set here. Oop. Okay, presumably talked to people, I would assume. Yes, learned five words. I'm going to skip that one. Uh, hello, Ensign. We have a lot of words to learn, by the way. Hop poo boo. Uh, what if I can? Can I? Can't I just learn the regular words like yes, no, and, <laughs> and so forth? Uh, Mr. Travel Trade. I think trade could be good as well. Give. Not bad. And I think we by now have exhausted the people that are working here because yeah, I don't think that we can get anything from you. However, where is that bloody? Oh, more stuff. Where is the... Ten words, yes. Um, ah, so you basically just got one word, five words, and ten words. Yes, hello. Uh, in the Galactic Trade Terminal, can I get... No, no missions in here either. Where do I get missions? Shouldn't missions be in here as well? Or am I missing something? Ooh! Is that a Corvax? It's a Corvax. Hello, Corvax. We should talk to you too. He's a research entity. So this is the third, uh, the third alien type. So let's do Corvax. Let's do. Um, it would be nice to have Corvax, but no, we didn't get Corvax. Let's do friendship. Apparently, we are learning help as the first word. Can be here. No, ehu. Oh right, they have ehu as a word. Uh, I remember that now. You were the guy. Yes, we don't need you right now, but I want to be able to pick up... Is this this? Is this it? Navigation data. Ooh, navigation data. Cool. Uh, where does those... Where, where do those go? Do they go in here, possibly? Uh, find a cache. Milestones catalog... Only have ooh port portal glyphs. That's a different thing. Uh huh. A whole bunch of commodities, etc., etc. Discoveries. That's that planet. Oh no, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, where do I get that data from then? Or rather, where where does that data go? Maybe I should say. That is not something I am finding right now. All right, all right, well, I guess we'll have to chill out with that for now, then. So let's chill out with that for now. I'll have to learn a little bit more. I, I mean, I remember doing that when I tried the game out a bit of a while ago. Who is that something over there? Let's have a bit of a look at what that is. Is that connected to this thing? 
Let's have a bit of a poke at this. Station core, fly pad, and landing overseer. Okay. Yes, yeah, stable systems, online, etc., etc. I can't... Ooh, can I take over a station? Because if I can take over a station, that's hilarious. Um, let's not do that right now. Let's uh, start with um, the bases here. Or basics. Let's have a bit of a poke around to the... Uh, signal source here because I still have enough stuff to be able to actually do things for now so are you gonna be am I gonna have to kill I'm not gonna have to try and kill you I don't really want to you know uh, I don't really want to you know where am I supposed to go did you say mostly harmless? Because if you said mostly harmless, why not? Uh, is that where I have to go? I would presume that that is. Yes, yeah, signal source. All right, well, why don't we end the episode with a bit of a combat? So hold these to tag. Quite far away. But you're also moving quite... Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. I can get close really, really fast. Can I, because a bounty of 100,000 units, that's pretty damn impressive. Let's uh, speed up and actually see, can I do this? Can I kill this thing? I have a little bit of a, of a possibility to boost my shields, which is something I'm going to have to use. I do see a very blue planet over there. Could that possibly be a planet I could settle down on in this very system? Because I, I guess I would be okay with settling down in this first system. And not travel, because I don't even know how to travel to different systems yet. That's a, that's a thing to keep in mind. <laughs> right, let's see if I can actually kill this thing. There's a bounty on this person's head, and I am going to try and collect it. Okay, can I immediately shoot at you? Oh, you're a bit... You're actually going away from me. You are going away from me. No, 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 no. You get back here. Hello. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, 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 he's down here. Bloody hell. Go. Let's see if I can. Oh, 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 no! Wow! Ow! 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 Okay, you are. You are doing. Whoa! 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 No! Come on! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's, he's not even alone. Crap! 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 Oh no! No! Did I? Where are you? Where are you? No! You are. Oh! I am not figuring this. I need to have a bit of a look at the controls. I believe. There we go. Getting some hits in. It's actually not looking too hot. Uh, the space combat in this game, it was never good. It's still actually not terribly good. There we go. You're destroyed. Uh, you're destroyed. Oh, I'm gonna get the units. Oos awesome. And uh, my shields are back to normal. Okay, that actually wasn't so bad. Even though it was a three star thing. Uh, let's... Oh, there we go. I've killed something. <laughs> yes, Moneymaker. Uh, 200,000 units. So that was probably because I was above 200,000. So Viking rank. Ooh, that's nice. So, let's uh, head down here. Uh, this is sadly the same planet, which is a bit annoying. Uh, so I'm a conscript now. Does that mean that I can actually take missions from the place I was just on. Uh, space Comet, yes. Cool. But let's sit down here and do this thing as... Oop, did I just see... a fairly big base, possibly? Is this... Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, this is an interesting base. Let's actually drop down here before we do anything with the... Uh, the thing. <laughs> Let's drop down here. Have a bit of a sh look at what's going on here. Let's uh, just uh, save and shard this sector. The Yudexu Enclave. And let's also have a bit of a poke here. Uh, this is just stuff we can sell. We get navigation data. <laughs> Again. Which I still don't know exactly what to do with. Uh, Damage container, give me whatever. Gek relic, that's cool. Gek relics. Uh, relics are basically. Oop. 
Hello. Uh, relics are basically good for, obviously, giving to whoever it is that the relic is for. And I think you basically just get uh, stuff from that. No, 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 come on. Uh, remove that a bit. I've been picking up a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to have to have a bit of a look at what I've picked up. Uh, did I just get the thing? I think I just got the thing, even though I probably shouldn't have. Uh, anything in here? Not really, no. Let's check the other one. This was a slightly larger base. Ooh, I like that sort of... Almost like a wall. It was like kind of different looking. Um, some nanites over here. Just, I think I am at full on first aid, but that's fine. Let's have a bit of a look at the actual base over here. And then I will go to the thing where we are supposed to go. Uh, where do we have an entry point here? Where do we have an entry point? over here. Is this one of those that are going to be um, rather closed? And I'm going to have to shoot it and I won't get in. No, 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 I can't get in. Oh, it's actually people in here. Well, isn't that a Viking uh, observatory? Well, that's just lovely. I'm going to talk to you, General something something. You were called what? A warning. I remember my peaceful and a little other language. Olm. Hello, interlopal. He wants something. Ooh. Okay. Uh, they take a second to think, then grab my multi tool while barking again into my visors, streaking with saliva. They point a mining beam, short indicator, that I have my backpack and do my best to keep calm. So, if you're talking about the mining beam, that would be carbon, because that's what we load the mining beam with. So, let's try carbon. And he's... <laughs> I like that little finger gun there. And a thumbs up. Cool. We get... Ooh. Oh, wow. We got two words. That and is. You know, important words. Ah, so that's a good way to learn important words. Uh, we're also a liquidator with the Viking. And we can't get in there because we need Atlas Pass. Now, over here... We can have a bit of a look at this terminal. Because not long ago from a distant system awaits my response. Three numbers are visible above an empty input box. I think I know what comes next. So now we're actually getting into some uh, proper mathematician's puzzles. Now I think that this one is rather easy because I think everything just goes one step to the left. So, so the seven, for example, uh, goes... Well, actually... Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. So if we look at the zero, for example, so zero, 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 so the zero would be at the end, uh, but it would also be close by to the, or next to the seven, so it would be two, one, seven, zero. So I discover location within the distant stars. On this planet, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Please don't, ma please don't make it the one that I'm actually already looking for. No, it actually is over there, roughly. So we have some more stuff that we can actually discover on this planet, which is just lovely. So, uh, let's make it back to my ship, which is over there. Uh, let's make it back to our ship. Uh, there are some stuff we can just uh, have a bit of a poke into. Some free sodium, I won't say no. But yeah, let's end the episode uh, of, uh, by actually going to that thing. Is this something a cold starship? Well, I'm just by my starship, so that seems very, very unimportant. Uh, right, we can make off, but now it's basically on zero, I believe, so I do need to... Oh. Yes. Where's the... Oh, over here. Uh, oh, it's actually right here. Oh, whoa, 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 chill. Chill. Let's just drop down here. Let's just drop down. I can... Uh, are those uh, ferrite things? Yes, those are just ferrite things. Right. Where? Where's the thing? That's just a sentinel. I'm not gonna kill a sentinel. Where's the signal? Is it gonna be you? Surely not. Okay. Targus, we've seen a tracking active. Follow the direction of indicators to locate the signals. Oh, okay. Oh, 
what? Ah, okay. Ah, mm, ooh, ah, okay. It wasn't so clear cut, was it? No. Uh, let's just get in and refuel, so to speak. Let's also create in my exosuit. I already have a life support gel, perfect. Uh, don't need to worry about that. All right. So what are you saying? You are saying go in this direction. Uh-huh. Yes, target aligned. Target a li line. Oh, a bit to the side here. Oh, we are going in this direction. It's gonna be that thing over there, I presume. Yes. Uh, so let's just make a run for it if I can. Not right now. Sprint depleted. Yes, I know. Uh, let's pick up some of this on the way. No reason not to. With my mining beam, that should be able to go for longer now without having to uh, recharge it. So we find this place. Oh, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Let's just short this little area right here. Camp Abel. Abel. Uh, so what is it that I am going to find here? Let's just uh, search the stuff. It's going to be that one. Yes, I see that now. Another microprocessor. Very handy. Oh, oh a bit of a triceratops looking thing. Uh, Spark and Bison machine generate a signal. Tapping out is broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decipher it. Decoding. 16, 16, 16. Okay. No fuel in something, fail to reach station, hazard protection low, no choice but to go underground. Deployed base computer. As well as log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. That's very good. Within the lock, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Extract the plans. Awesome. Base computer, portable land registration service. When place contacts Universal Cartographic Archive to establish ownership of land. Successful registration allows the construction of base modules, so that is basically what we need in order to create our base. Um, a terrain manipulator, that's actually very good. You, well, you are one I've already looked at. So terrain manipulator is something I can create now. Very handy. Are there any animals that I haven't already? Yes, there is. Can I? Oh, I can from here. Cool. You are a bumble, bumbly wheel. <laughs> Fancy that. Um, let's actually run back to ship. Let's run back to ship. So, selector manipulation mission in the log. Mine copper to build base computer. Mining copper requires something, something dark side. Um, yeah, I would like to be upgrading my mining laser if that is a thing that I can do. Uh, we'll have to re recharge that as well. Yes, indeed. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, now that we're in the sem... I know, I know. Shut out. Get in here. Do exosuit and my support. There we go. And we're done. Cool. So, that is what we're gonna do in this episode. So, next up... Uh, terrain. All oh, right, mining copper requires a ter terrain manipulator. So we are gonna have to go in here, and uh, we are gonna have to do a terrain manipulator. There we go. And for that, we need some carbon nanotubes and dihydrogen jelly. All of that is gonna be no problem whatsoever, right? Uh, you were just carbon, yes. I actually can already make that, but we'll hold off on that until the next episode. So we're getting somewhere closer to uh, getting the base that we want. Um, very nice. We already have some money as well, 200,000. Not much by a long shot, but uh, it will get better. What, where did I get this from? Have I sort of picked this up from somewhere? It's nice because I'm going to need it, but uh, you know. Uh, also, by the way, uh, okay. I swear I must have... Or did I actually load that up before, or rather after I left the planet? Maybe I did, because it, it sh should have been empty, but never mind. So we can now start doing copper, and wouldn't you know, wouldn't you know, this planet actually has copper. So, that that's good. Uh, we can probably find a copper deposit somewhere if we 
just look a little bit around for it. So, that is gonna come in the next episode. For now though, this has been Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.